there. I'm coming to you from the uh, fabulous masters in Queen Elizabeth II or third, I think. I think it's Elizabeth. Some queen, anyway. Invented this park back in 1974 when things were amazing. <laughs> Let's take a look around. Come on. Standing on the platform of the Wapuya Central Train Station. Platform one, well, there's only one platform, but this is it for sure. This at one time was the busiest railway platform in the lower North Island. Maybe that was about the same time that it was the only one, but still, a railway platform of note nonetheless. It's really exciting. This is the point in the tracks where the tracks would split into not one line, but two, two lines from one to two, where you change from having one possible outcome to having two possible outcomes. And once people realized the technology that would allow this to happen, people realized that once they had split from one to two, then each one of those individual ones then in turn themselves split into two, thus becoming two, becoming four, becoming eight, becoming... 2022, I think. I'm getting tuckered out from all of this mathematics. Might have been two, 17, 12. Hang on, hang on, let me swipe up. Calc, calc, no. Okay, calculator. No, it's a flashlight. Uh, no, wallet. No, no. Ooh. Oh. Okay. 16 and then 32. And that's the power of technology manifesting itself right here in Masterton City at Queen Elizabeth Park, right here at Warumu Station, the most busiest, powerful train station in the whole of the Lower North Island, way back in 1974 or 1874. Think, it's really hard to keep track. Things keep moving, like me. When David Byrne wrote the song Road to Nowhere back in the 80s, it was a huge hit. People related to it on some deep psychological level. What a lot of people don't realize is that David Byrne's song Road to Nowhere was in fact inspired by this very train station where there is literally a railway line to nowhere. Well, I think it goes somewhere. You don't build a door in front of nothing. You only build a door if you got something real exciting you want to keep people away from, like a toilet or something. You know what's in there? Let's go have a look. ADT Armor Guard. I think that's a kind of a deodorant. Must be a deodorant warehouse. That's amazing. No wonder they need 24 hour surveillance. When you smell this good, you want people to know. <laughs> Another fantastic musician wrote the song talking about the circle of life. Similarly, they didn't realize when they were writing it, but they were writing it about this exact literal, this right here is the Masterton circle of life. Was well, it's, it's, it's more eels actually. It's a circle of eels, but it's still, it's a circle of eels, but it's still really exciting. <laughs> Let's walk through it backwards. Oh, wow! Masterton City, the fun just never, ever, 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 ever ends. It never ends. I can't find my way out. Maybe down this gully. Hey, 
listen, by the way, on a serious note, if uh, you know anything about anything, you should just know this. Nothing means business, means danger, means serious action more than uh, big red bells with a big red box. Big red bells with a big red box. Big red bells with a big red box. Look, look, look at that. Big red bells, big red box, and on top of the bells, check it out, check it out. Ooh. Padlock, 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 Danger, all the way, five-star danger situation. Achtung, achtung, as the Germans used to say. I don't know what that means. You know, you're sometimes uh, maybe in a military situation or maybe in a sort of a pseudo-military situation like the Salvation Army or Brass Band where people are just hungry for power but ill-equipped for any sort of interaction with humanity. You'll often hear the term a three-wheel salute and uh, nobody knows what it means, but right here is where it was coined. Final Burns coming at you from Mastodon City with full beef facts. <laughs> it's so real, it's hard to eat. I need to work on that. Oh, now you can't stand in the way of progress now, and even here in beautiful, amazing, special, beautiful paradise in the middle of the jungle. Well, it's not a jungle, but it's, it's beautiful nonetheless. It's a fake train station that used to be a real train station back in the 1800s, and now it's just official playland for train propellers, propeller hat head children, super children who love the trains to play. They don't want a small train set, they want a big train set, and they come here. But nothing stands still for too long, and right here is the first telltale signs of that progress and in development. What you're looking at there is the first tree felling project to make way to build a giant car park for a giant big shopping mall that's going to happen right here. But they haven't worked out that part yet. But they're certainly making a start on the car park. And if you ask me, that's the important thing. Woo What a lot of people don't realize is that just across the water from this beautiful train park is one of the most heavily fortified imprisonment internment camps permanent in, in permanent camps in the whole of Australasia. I'm gonna stand up briefly, let you take a peek, but I won't stand too long because they have sh snipers or I think they just have a telephone. They call the police. Let's take a look. You can see some guards heavily patrolling this area as I speak to you. I don't want to get their attention because they are so, so aggressive. Or oh, just bored and they don't have much to do. And the reception out here is terrible, so you can't even play like threes or nothing. But uh, just be warned, if you don't pay your telephone bill, they will bring you here and they will make you do something. I haven't found out what they do. I haven't, don't really know very much. I just know there's a place over there and these boys are intimidating. Now it's all fun and games until somebody loses a, you know, a something, but uh, I'm a big believer in uh, paying attention. It's not all fun and games out here. You gotta pay attention to the signs. There's a lot of real serious dangers and pitfalls to be visited upon an unsuspecting, naive traveler. So it's real important. Keep your eyes open and make sure that you always know exactly where you're going. Queen Elizabeth, she thought of everything. <laughs> Thank you, Liz. Liz, Beth, Betty. Thank you, Betty. Betty, Betty, come on, Betty. No, sorry, that's that's not very appropriate.
Woo, holy bones, Jethro. This has been a whole lot of fun hanging out at Queen Elizabeth Park, uh, Masterton City, for about, it feels like forever, but it's only been about 20 minutes. Uh, man, if you ever get a chance to visit Mastertron, New Zealand, I 100% recommend you check it out. It's just a really great place to visit. There's all kinds of big, like there's these really big ducks. I don't know what they are. They're like ducks, but massive. Man, I'm so hungry now. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wrap it up because I am so tired and it is really close to dark and I don't I ain't got a flashlight except for my phone but I don't really know how to work that. Sometimes it works but I don't know when and that's kind of a big problem. Sometimes. In any case, Masterton City is the home of amazing views like this. Look at the beauty out there. Look at the majesty. Just the good, wholesome, down-to-earth effervescence of what Jesus, Jesus Spaceman built almost a thousand years ago on this big old piece of rock just floating around the, the sun, so they say. Anyway, that's it for me, Vinyl Burns, here in Masterton City, Queen Elizabeth Park. Twelve thousand years in the making and uh, still going. It's still got a little bit of work to do, but it's worth checking out. I always like to see the before photo, before the after. You know what I mean. All right, final burns from Masterton City, New Zealand tropical small town paradise. I salute you and take it easy. <laughs> See you real soon. Ciao, ciao.